Power blocks, power blocks, power blocks. What's up guys, welcome to Brookade. Today's video we're going to do an in-depth review of the new build adjustable dumbbells and we're going to compare them to the Power Block Sport expandable adjustable dumbbells. So uh, yes, very excited. So the Power Block is still mine, but this one I got to borrow from my buddy Michael. He was building a home gym and he needed a set of adjustable dumbbells and I said, hey man, you gotta get these new bells. They are so nice, they are in kilograms, they look slick, they have a knurled handle, and they change so fast. So he got hooked, he bought these, and that's why we were able to do a review. Let's categorize this review, and let's start with the mechanism. Now the reason you clicked on this video is because you're sick and tired of this type of dumbbell. This is one where you have to change both sides. This one is even worse because it has these bolts here that you have to undo. So we really want to get away from this. We want a quick and easy way to change our dumbbells. Now, the mechanism in the power block is very simple. So you have this block of plastic here in the middle. Boom, you put that in. Then you take this plastic piece and you put it at whatever weight, say you want 30 pounds, boom, and you're good, right? So changing from this to this is a very, very good upgrade. This is going to go so much faster, the power blocks, and I actually showed this in my previous video on power blocks. Now, check this out, guys. Here, it's at 22 kilos, boom, 20 kilos, 18 kilos, 16 kilos, 14, 12, 10, absolutely super fast. And then all you have to do is pick it up and you have these nice set of dumbbells. If we're comparing these two, if it comes to a mechanism which is the fastest, which is the smoothest to use, New Bells gets everything. So the way the New Bells work is as you turn this handle, there's a rod that goes outside and takes up more and more plates with it. Now I can't demonstrate that here because there's a locking mechanism that prevents me from losing the weights, which is actually very nice. What I think I can do is I can take out a couple of plates here. That should work, I guess. Boom. I can put in the mechanism again and if I now spin it you can actually see the rod coming out. Now something that my buddy also said about the mechanism is that as you're putting the weight back in sometimes these plates are going to move on you and it might be a hassle to put them in. So just something to keep in mind it's still a very fast change. So let's talk build quality and material selection. If we're looking at the power blocks, it's really made out of metal with a plastic core with also some metal rods and a rubberized handle. If you look at the plastic here, it looks very durable. It's also a solid chunk of plastic, so it's very strong. The metal on the power box is also very nice, but it's just painted, which makes it look a little cheaper. Now, the new bells on the other hand have a powder coated metal plate with some rubber between the plates. So you're not making a lot of scratches onto the metal, which is very nice. It also has a knurled handle, which is super amazing. The only downside is the cheap plastic around the mechanism. I don't really like it. It looks so cheap, guys. If you tap on it, very hollow, and it doesn't really look as strong as the plastic does on the power blocks. I'm not a real fan of the plastic part, but the metal and the rubber looks so nice. Look at that rubber piece here around the plates. Super awesome. If you have to compare these two, for the plastic part, I would really go for the power blocks. It looks so much sturdier. If it comes to overall finish and the metal part of the dumbbells, I think New Bell is really winning it here. Now, let's talk design of the two dumbbells. 
The new belt has your classic round design, very nice, very snappy. Also, it comes with a stand that has these nice aluminum finishes. It's just looking like a very nice dumbbell. Something also that you can see here is that the feet underneath are flat, so your dumbbell doesn't roll as you put it on the floor. So a very cool design and very nice material choice, except for this plastic part. Now the power blocks on the other hand, they got their design of a loaf of bread, probably, but I still think it looks very rugged, it looks very manly, but for me, I really like the design better of the new bells. So the reason why calibrated plates exist is because some people are concerned about accuracy. They want to really know how much weight there's actually on their plates, but also people want that for their dumbbells. And with a manufacturing process, there's always going to be some deviation. For the power blocks, I already had an in-depth video about that, so you can check that one out. In conclusion, the power block has about a 1.2% of an error as it comes to pounds and a 3.8% error when it comes to the kilograms portrayed here. Let's do the same thing but a little bit faster for the new bells. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our foot scale, boom, very nice and easy. We'll put it on, we're going to place it onto the scales and I'm reading 2.1% four five eight kilograms so we're already having more weight than we wanted to so as we go up these little plates here should all weigh two kilograms so let's test this one out it's 1.94 1.914 so the handle is actually a bit heavier so we get like a 20 percent deviation if we take uh, the two kilos and the little change plates are weighing a little bit less than two kilos so basically the higher up you go the more that difference cancels out now if you're talking and if you're caring about accuracy that much i would go with the power blocks because this one in my opinion is more accurate here you have some variation now something you probably all wanted to see is a drop test so <laughs> what i'm not gonna drop these nice dumbbells that i got to borrow from a buddy what are you crazy these things cost money Speaking of pricing, let's talk pricing and availability. Now, this thing is the ATX version because that's what they sell here in Belgium. And this one goes from two kilos to 32 kilos. It sets you back about 760 euros. New Bells is really a brand from Sweden. So they have obviously the kilograms for almost 95% of the world but they are so nice to look at those americans and say hey we also have a 5 to 80 pound version i really love that power block on the other hand this is the power box port expandable and the expandable means you buy a set from uh, 10 pounds all the way up to 50 pounds and then you can expand this is the first expansion that i bought already and this is going up to 70 pounds and then you can expand that one up to 90 pounds so the base version is 495 and every add-on is going to be 195 extra so they're basically in the same price range what i like about new bells whether you want metric or imperial you can have either all right guys in conclusion i am a big fan of both of these dumbbells this one very rugged very manly just does the job is not gonna break on you this one very elegant design a much faster change in weight looks slick is absolutely beautiful if i were to redo it the new bells would probably be my pick but I don't mind being stuck with the power blocks. They are also very nice. So basically you can do the same things with either of them. So uh new bells, new bells, new bells, new bells, new bells, new bells. Yes, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you have either of these dumbbells and you want to add something to this review, you can do that in the comment section below. I'm happy to discuss. Also very important, we are filming the setup of his home gym. And if you want to see the new bell in his home, please subscribe for that video. So thanks so much for watching. I guess I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace.